Hello. Hello, I've got a face for a quiff. I caught him unaware. <laughs> On a slow, eerie start. How's it right. going? It's breaking down. It's good, man. How's it going? Yeah, good. Good week. I'm glad it's to be good. home. Back in Devon. I'm back. Guess who's back? Back again. Back. Yes. Angus is back. Yes, we're back. Another episode of Starter for Ten. Yeah. This is episode number ten. Ten. Number ten. 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 So yeah, we're we're live streaming this on yeah, Periscope. Um, I think you can. I think you can go back and watch broadcasts if you want. I think so. Like retrospectively, I'm not. You can if you want, but otherwise, keep re- listening to where you are. Yeah. Good stuff. Right. Right then. Straight in. Start for ten. Straight in. Start for ten. There's only one place we can start this week. Yeah, I think I think there's an obvious start. There is, there? which, as a news story that as I watched unfold uh, on online this week, I just wish I was wishing that I was sat alongside <laughs> commentating, <laughs> <laughs> which was the the flotilla. The flotilla. Hashtag fl- Brexit flotilla. Flotilla the Hun. <laughs> yeah. I I genuinely could not get my head around what was happening. It was like a once in a lifetime. Oh, yeah. I I mean I don't really know. I don't really know why. I d- um, and I I mean obviously I can see why they did it. Obviously, but, but I don't know. It just didn't seem to. I don't know. Maybe people in London, it it, it was better for them because obviously London's quite remain pro remain, isn't it? Yeah, well, it in was a, a, in a London. It was a bit of a hijacked thing where old Nigel Farage was yeah. was had some. Um, some boatists of oppose of the because n- all the normal all the nautical types are all of the stay camp because they get huge European funding. Oh really? Yes. So he was looking for he found some guys who still wanted to leave and were going to traipse up the Thames and to go to Parliament. Okay. And it was a big PR stunt. Yeah, yeah, of course. But I don't know how long it lasted before Matey from the Boomtown Rats. <laughs> What's his name? Uh, uh, G- Geldof. Bob Geldof. Yeah. Bob Geldof turned up on a big ship, <laughs> a bit an even bigger ship, and we're playing um, "I'm In with the In Crowd" over a <laughs> massive set of speakers to drown out the other <laughs> the other party. And there was like a little smaller boats going round, like little ribs yeah, and other boats. People joined in, didn't they? Yeah, it did feel a lot like you know the final challenge on Takeshi's Castle. Where they come out that like weird smoky mouth, <laughs> right? I have to get in those little ships and like drive them round and shoot water guns. A picture came out of no kidding, uh, a guy on a fishing boat shooting an in, an in boat with a water pistol. That at this point it like it couldn't have reached another level. I don't even know how to react to that. Uh, it was beyond like anything I've ever seen. It was. Uh, it was totally ridiculous. At least it adds some comedy to, to some to an otherwise mundane campaign. I don't know if it has been mundane. I think it's been. Do you think? Uh, well, I'm. It's t- bored me to be honest. Yeah, we, uh, I, we as we said, we were getting a little bored of it, and I, it did re- reinvigor me. Yeah, to, I to pay attention again for all the wrong reasons. Admittedly, I've just found myself getting incredibly frustrated with, from both sides, leave and remain, the just ridiculous stuff they're coming out with, and these unbelievable. I don't know who the journalists are that write these news stories um for either pro or you know for remain or leave but they are such trash they are trash they are unbalanced arguments that have got complete bias they're not telling you the the, the truth they're not even backing up what they're saying with you know actual evidence they're just making broad statements you know and it's just oh, it's just infuriating yeah ev- it's almost like everybody's got um but by this point everybody from the Media has decided their agenda. Yeah, they and have. And they're now shooting that. They're shooting from the hip. Yeah. And it was quite interesting. I read an article. Um, the Sun haven't got an election result wrong since the 70s. Right. The, the headline on The Sun on Tuesday, they want to leave. Mm. It's nailed their colours to the mast. That's they it, then. don't it's all over. get it wrong. So it's all over then. Well, it's very, I'm not going to say that. I, I still think it's going to go. 50, I think it's going to be fifty-one forty-nine. I think it will be close. <laughs> I, I, I don't think it's going to be as clear cut as some people think it is. Um. I think the other sort of sad thing is it has uh, showed a large divide in the country. 
Yeah, I suppose you're right. It has driven a wedge it has, yeah. between the country. And mm. I'm not more sure... More than normal politics does. Oh, much more, because it's become... Well, they yeah. wanted to engage everybody, and successfully they have. Mm. But I am i don't know how that wedge repairs. Like what I, I think's crazy is that it's, it's even affecting people within their own political minds. So you've got Labour... Oh, actually, you don't really hear about them, but I'm sure you've got Labour, or, you know, stereotypically more on the Labour side of politi- politics moving to more Tory, and then you've got Tories moving to Labour for, for in and out. But then it's weird because the, uh, you've got a high proportion of, of Tories who are saying that we should leave, but then you've got David Cameron saying we should stay. And it's just, like, yeah, crazy. It's, so it's, 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 like really another, it's like another politics within politics. It's crazy, mm. absolutely mental. And it's, been really, it's really hard to decide at what point are people doing something for a political long-term gain, i.e., yeah. Boris Johnson, is this a play? Well, this well, is, yeah. this this is, is the, the question play, lots it? of people are asking. This is P- Bojo for PM. This is the big play. Well, lo- yeah, a lot of people are, are wondering now, I think in the in the latest, well, the latter stages, they're thinking, okay, is it genuinely for the betterment of the country? Or is it just that a few select people have their own agenda and they're trying to make us make everyone believe that it's the right thing to do when in reality they've just got their own agenda, either for power or, or for money? Uh, I, it's I difficult, like isn't being, it? It's I really don't difficult. Like being cynical, I, I don't think that there are many people out there who do something purely for money or their own gain. I think people, on the whole, people who are in politics are in it. They have some other agendas which I'm not down with at all. Yeah. I, I think it can get it's corrupt, and there's parts of that that need to need sorting. Definitely, but, yeah. But um, people don't want to put any, but nobody wants to put somebody through hardship. It's just that certain members of society are more happy putting others through. It's like they're how it's really hard to word. Um, certain people are more comfortable to tread on others more for their own gain than. than well, this is this others. is what it's and that's the, down that's to, isn't it? What really gets outlined, and that's how it shows. It's yeah. worrying, actually. I don't know if it's worrying. Um. I was, I was in, I had an incredibly long car journey with my dad, and we talked about this because, I mean, what else do you talk about in the car for three hours with your father? Um, cars. Yeah. Politics. Oh, we passed some great cars. Yeah, you always do. Um, we, uh, we were talking about that and about how I've actually come to the conclusion I don't think there's going to be, I think no matter whichever way it goes, in or out, there'll be a kick of kickback on the short term. So I think the yep. stock market will crash, regardless. Probably, it'll, it'll yeah. fall. It'll fall a load of points in one day. Well, our economy's already dropped, they say, isn't it? It's yeah. suffered by like 12 billion. It already has. Um, so it'll have a, it'll, whatever happens, there'll be a big shunt. Then uh, all the other estimations afterwards are vastly over-egged. Hmm. I think it's going to be a, I, I would hope, it's going to be a rather, n- you won't be a massive swathe of recession or whatever swinging either way. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think no matter what happens... No matter what happens, I don't think we're going to fall back into like a recession. I don't think it's going to get that bad, because if it does, then well, let's well, we let's could be sat here wrong, totally wrong. But to be to be Business honest, let's pulls the plug, let's pulls the rug, yeah, but let's let's face it. If it all does go to shit, I'm sure if we turned around to the EU and said, "Oh, actually, we made a mistake," I'm sure. I mean, it would be such a hard thing for us to do. It's so embarrassing. But we'd definitely be allowed back in. They're not going to say, "Oh no, sorry, you've had your chance. You've left. That's it now. Goodbye." You're never coming back did. again. Imagine if they did and we end up having to like return back to trading corn and farming. I, I'm all right with that. I'll go back to farming. I, I'm not down Start with that. Start a farm. Sounds good. You come live on my farm. I don't want to do that. Oh, charming. No, I don't want to live on your farm. <laughs> <laughs> what if it's like a, a rabbit farm or something? We just breed rabbits. It's not a good cash crop. I know it isn't, but it's cute. Okay, we don't need cash. And they, yeah, I don't know. They are cute. Yeah. yeah, I'm not sure where it's going to go, but when when's it's on the 23rd, isn't it? Yeah, next Thursday, yeah. Next Thursday. Yeah, a week today. Yeah, we're Obviously, recording, we're recording yeah. on Thursday, but this Obviously. will come out on... We don't know. It'll come out when it comes out. It'll come out whenever it, whenever it comes out, it'll be out. <laughs> um, yeah, I think we were coming out on Mondays, so we might change that. You never know. I'm not sure. Uh, yeah. But we're that drinking, was drinking Polish beer today, yeah. because we're not racist. <laughs> um... <laughs> So we're drinking Polish beer, 
pro EU um, beer. <laughs> pro EU beer. See now, if we weren't a member of the EU, this would have cost twice as much. Um, yeah, what's it called? A tisky, tisky, something like that. Tisky, tisky, um, and it's from Poland, and it's nice. Yeah, it's all right, isn't it? It's not my normal thing. It's not the normal thing. I it's go a bit for. different. It's five and a half percent. Yeah, it's, it's just interesting. Like, it's like I, a light lager, like a, like a light beer. So far, touch wood, nothing has come back from my first beer story. Oh, good. Nobody has lost any licenses. Good, 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 good. So nothing, nothing serious has happened. No. Okay. I believe we've got away with it lightly, which is that's, very good. that's two thumbs up for that. <coughs> yes. Well, we covered Brexit, and we've kind of run ourselves into a. Well, we don't, we don't want to, we don't want to dawdle on Brexit no. because it's, oh, there was there's a no need to keep going. Into oh, it. there was a, something amazing came up, which was a picture of Nigel Farage stood on the front of his boat. <laughs> right, stood there like. On the bow. <laughs> for a, for an so brilliant. For the ultimate photo op. And it is the exact same s- shape that he's in on that scene from Alan Partridge. Yeah, it is. When he's, when he's going under the... It's exa- exactly the when same. When he's going under the bridge and the cow drops on him. Yep. And <laughs> what a way to have a good holiday. <laughs> oh, it's it's, it's so unbelievable. Like Hamilton... It's have un- a holiday with Hamilton. Yeah. Walk away to have a good time. That's so, it. Something like that. That's it. We'll find it. We'll find a clip. <laughs> um, yeah. It, oh, it was too. It was too good. It was an absolute horror show. And yeah. other, another, the other horror show for me this week, or in the recent past as well, was what the Queen elected to wear <laughs> for her ninetieth. Her birthday. Stabilo boss. Yeah, when she dressed up as a Stabilo boss highlighter pen. Yeah, I think we did. We did we mention this last time? No, no, we haven't. We, we haven't covered it yet. It. But it was, oh, what a stunning... Hilarious. What a stunningly... She normally, right, I'm not a massive Queen guy, Queen fan. The music or the lady doesn't do a great deal for me, but I understand why it's there. It's cool. It carries on. It makes a ton of money for everybody. Yeah, it makes a lot of money. A lot of money for the country, and it's quite cool as a focal point. She it gets is through cool. a lot of work. It's, it's good for heritage. And, and someone's got to some, open the library. something, don't like yeah. somebody's <laughs> Someone's got to open the library. Somebody's got to do those things, so you why know. not her? It's fine. Um... She normally nails the, the the dress sense. She normally looks fantastic. Yeah, she d- does. Norm- I'm not going to go that far. I'm not really down on like ninety year old fashion, but she normally nails it. Good choice of colours. Good, you know, a good hat. She's a, she's a lover of a good hat. She has great hats. But why the hell for the biggest do so far? The ninetieth, the big ninety, trooping of the colour. Did she did she dress as a Stabilo boss highlighter? Yeah, it's like traffic light green. It's traffic light green. It looks like she's a <laughs> Off the highways agency, <laughs> working on the road, putting cones out. I was stunned. I was genuinely stunned. Uh, and they come out, the, the classic shot, you know, they all come out onto the balcony and there's yeah, all of yeah. the, like, all the royals. They're all the, dressed in military. Yeah, in the military, the red. Yeah, yeah, the red and everything. Red. Yeah, it they looks look, quite look, smart. Look lovely. And then uh, out comes the highlighter. <laughs> out comes the highlighter. <laughs> Big up <laughs> Queen Liz. Oh, I love my. the Queen. <clears throat> I love the Queen. I couldn't, uh, I couldn't get my head around it. I just thought it was an absolute. Did we say? <laughs> did we say? That, I mean, it's it's a bit pointless, but we might start doing this more often. We are on Periscope. We've already said. We already have said we? It. Have we actually said it though? Yeah. Or did we only say it to the people that were watching on Periscope? I can't remember. But anyway. Okay. Either way, we're on Periscope, so we probably will start doing this. Um, yeah. It's so cool. you can actually watch us live. And also, you can, you can comment if you want. And you can comment, and you can. Um, I yeah, might you see can it. you can chat with us and Angus will message back. It's, it's a borderline a radio it's show. It's an interactive podcast. Yeah, but it's the main format is still just as a podcast. Yeah. 91 to 98 FM. Big wave band? <laughs> well, heck? mate, there's no expense spared on that, on, that <laughs> on that radio. On that transmitter, mate. <coughs> anyway, should we get a um, get an actual a starter, for starter for 10? Now that we've covered politics. Yes. It is warm in here. Yeah, red hot, and the window's open. It's muggy. It's a uh, muggy evening. Um, what are we going with? What, uh, have you picked a news source for me? I'm thinking. I'm eating crisps, by the way. You might be able to hear your crunch. Um, They're um, co-op Chardonnay white wine vinegar and sea salt sponsored. Yes, we're sponsored by co-op. ABC News. Perfect. From Australia. 
We like it. Australians are wild. The Australians Nutters. are loose. Yeah. Right, what we got? Man found not guilty of burglary despite his soiled underpants found at the crime scene. Yeah, I, I, I'm not even sure how he's got what? away with this one. A man accused of defecating woo, during a burglary at a Cambry coffee, sh- coffee shop was found not guilty despite his soiled underpants being found at the scene of the crime. Wesley Matthew King was charged with four counts of burglary-related offences. A, a Brandon Cafe was broken into in late 2014, but it's taken obviously a long time to come to court. He also took four grand in cash, an oh, iPod... I, what cafe keys. has four grand in cash lying around? I don't know. Uh, yeah, that's, that's a lot. That's a lot for a cafe. But the main problem everybody seems to be is he did a poop and run. <laughs> <laughs> Which is... Uh, <laughs> a poop and run. Well, it is a poop and run, isn't it? A poop and run burglary. What kind of sentence does that um, carry? It Two years? Uh, it doesn't say. <laughs> but what, what's actually happened? Well, no, because he's found not guilty of the burglary. <laughs> but So he was guilty of the poop, but not the poop and run? No, it's not. So he was charged of it, and then despite them having not just DNA, his actual something from his body there found at the scene of the crime, Yeah. he says that somebody else he, he genuinely managed to to come through that somebody else was wearing his unwashed pants. He was found not guilty on all charges. Mad. This is a bigger stitch up than so Oscar Pistorius. <laughs> this genuinely is. <laughs> well, they, this guy, okay, he did get away with murder <laughs> for a short while, but this is literally, he did get away with murder. Yeah, it was literally. culpable homicide or something. Yep. Um, it was. Yeah, the, uh, somehow he's managed so to... Uh, so he managed. He to, so he walked away with four grand. Uh, well essentially, if it was him, well we can't say it was him now because it was he. He wasn't him because the laws decided. But uh, yeah, somebody walked away with how, four how grand. How have cash. they come to that decision? Is it jury in in Australia? I assume it is. You'd think so, wouldn't you? How would a jury come to that decision? There must be something else. There must be something else they're not telling us. There must. There's got to be something unreported here. There must be. There's no way. Have you ever been in a situation where someone around you has shat themselves? Uh, no. Like in a swimming pool or something? <coughs> no. No, me neither. No, that's horrible. Yeah. I tell you, there was, a, um, there was a room I was in in the hospital like two years ago. Room 17. Room halfway 17. Halfway along the corridor. And when I looked out my window, there was a pair of pants on the windowsill on the outside, on the fourth story, on the windowsill. Right. <laughs> And I clocked these pants, but obviously I couldn't reach them. I didn't want it, and also I didn't want to touch them. So I get there, and then I, c- I go. I go back to the hospital again later. Uh, later, and I'm in. Turns out, and I'm in room. F- I'm in room fifteen, which I then go into my bathroom and open the window. Turns out, room fifteen is the possessor of the pants. Right? How did they get there? Well, somebody's obviously left them there. But my reasons why I didn't touch them is reasons why. Think about it. You've taken a pair of dirty pants off and decided that they don't need to be in the room with you, so you're going to leave them outside. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I would go nowhere near them. Yeah, this screamed of pooey pants on the windowsill <laughs> all over. This was, it, that had it written all over. So I left it. I didn't tell anyone. Two years, fast forward two years, right? The other day, came up in passing conversations while I was talking to Gabriel the cleaner, who yeah. is a total boss. Like, he is like... He's like my Portuguese father. He is the king. And I was like, hey, you know, on room 15 in the bathroom, there's a pair of pants outside on the windowsill. And he was like, no, there's not. No, there's not. And I went and told him. And they couldn't believe it. All the nurses were, like, stunned. And when I explained they'd been there two years, they were like, why didn't you tell us? Why didn't you tell us? <laughs> so, yeah, there was a pair of pooey undercrackers four stories up on the Fulham Road for for two years, at least. Two years of my knowledge. So that is, that's the un- dirty, dirty under- underpants story. Is that slowly falling down? No, it's fine. Okay. But um, that is the pooey, und- pooey underpants story to... I don't think I've got any more. I, I have nothing to beat that. That's an incredible story. They weren't, they weren't very nice pants either. And, um, so they weren't his Ralph Lorenz? No, they weren't. But pants are expensive, man. I know. I bought pants some from well Tesco expensive. the other day. They were eight quid. What, eight for, quid for, like for, for three. Yeah. Well, I, I, I've, I've, spent, I've spent more than that recently. Mm, I've spent more than that like, before. But the ones yeah. in Tesco's are great. Well, I've, you find a brand that you like to stick You do. You really do, don't you? And, and I've tried them all. I've been to Primark. I've been to H&M. I've been to uh, Marks and Spencer. I thought they were going to be great, but they really <laughs> weren't that, that great. Tesco, they've hit it on the... They've got the nail on the head. 
Oh, I, I go with uh, autograph. On oh yeah, from Marks and Spencer, they're the posh ones. The posh ones, yeah. yeah the I've posh decided ones. that I have tried those. I've decided I'm going to just suck it up and enjoy the finer things in life. Are they the the like soft feel yes. ones? Yeah, I know the ones you mean. The silky ones. Yeah, I've, I've got some of them. I've got a thing about. I was I was talking to somebody this week about how I was going to um, how I really like the feel of labels. You know, like in a t-shirt. You know that like really silky. Oh, that material. Material. Yeah. So I was, why don't we just make clothes out of it? And she was like, "We I do." Think they, I think they do. We yeah. do. You could just buy a silk kimono. Yeah, you could. <laughs> so I'm, so I, I'm going to go on Amazon and see how much a silk kimono costs because I don't, I don't know. I'm going to see how. Don't think they're Amazon meant for men, are they? See, I don't care. I'm going to, I don't care. I'll buy a women's, um, a women's silk kimono. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> that's a treat. Angus likes that's a treat for silk. next. That's a treat to tune into the live stream for next. There you time. go. So next time, Angus is going to be sat there in a silk kimono. I'm going to record in a silk kimono. How old you? I'm that? not. I'll buy you. A, I'll buy you a matching <laughs> buy me, one. Buy me one anyway. <laughs> no, get me some. It's going to be. Like a I can see it's going to be like one of those, uh, like women's dressing gowns that's really high up the thigh. <laughs> so it's essentially just a, like, there's going to be so much leg. <laughs> and as as, uh, <laughs> as somebody commented to me in the barbers today, my legs are so white they almost look green. They are. <laughs> they're, they're like unreasonably. They're really white. They're unreasonably. Pink. Why are your legs so white? I don't know. I've had. I've been wearing shorts for like the last three weeks. It's just not making it. That's dead. weird. Mine, mine are quite like, white too. But then my hair, the hair's quite dark. So, we, I, I don't have any Irish in me. I'm not like pale. I don't think so. Anyway, I have Irish in me. Do you? I'm like quarter, not quarter Irish. I'm like a eighth Irish. Well, I'm half Scottish. Well, I've got some more Scottish in there. I'm half Ooh, Scottish, yeah, yeah, and yeah, then Scottish. my dad's grandfather or dad's great grandfather or something is with. Well, they think he's from Ireland. They don't actually know, but they they assume he's from Ireland. Quick, get on Jeans Reunited or whatever. Jeans Reunited. That's dead, isn't it? It was killed don't off. Know. Well, or Friends Reunited was, which is part of the same. Probably Friends Reunited. Yeah, I haven't heard about that in a long time. <coughs> well, fa- surely Facebook killed that off. Yeah, um, it didn't. Uh, that was a good one. Uh, LinkedIn. Oh yeah, it got, got sold to Microsoft. Yeah, Microsoft for like. Thirty or twenty something billion or whatever. It was a lot of money. A lot of money. It was a hell of a lot of money. But all I'm hoping now is that LinkedIn just email you slightly less. Well, I was talking. I was talking about this at work today. Basically, LinkedIn is now a job site. Yeah. There, it doesn't have any other purpose. It isn't a social media site anymore. No. Well, I, I mean, I'd argue it never was. But really, it's just a job site. It's about advertising yourself to prospective people, and it's about finding jobs. That's all it's for. It's actually almost quite dangerous because. People have unwittingly, or not, not with unknowingly, uploaded their entire CV, their yeah, entire life, their their life, their like work, primary school, worked, everything. Essentially, nowadays, data is worth money to somebody who wants it. Microsoft. Microsoft. It's worth about twenty something billion. Yeah, to there Microsoft. you go. That's how. There, finally, we've had a valuation on how much whatever schools you went to, because I mean, you can you can chip that up. And as long as I'm not sure if we all tick the right box on when you sign up to the regulations and whatever, if we've ticked the wrong box to say that our t- data can't be shared with third parties or whatever, curtains, the uh, your, not it's not I, d- I don't know I'm I stand on a weird place I stand the same place with on with advertising online, the reason why some of the best content online is free, and available to us still is because is of advertising, adverts. yeah, and it's it's. The what keeps the internet going, which well, is why adblock is a. I don't think it's. I don't think it's difficult. I think it's a, there's a really simple answer to it. Just don't be a dick about advertising. Yes. Just advertise subtly. Do you know there's one thing? <coughs> there is one thing that if I got into power, I would ban. What? On my first, the first second of my first day, full page adverts on websites for m- like on mobile especially. Yes. It does my head in, and the annoying thing is, it loads. At the very end of the page. Yes, yeah, so you start reading. So it starts loading, oh. and you think, oh, it's okay, I'll start reading. You start scrolling down, and it takes a while to load because there's so many images and ads and videos loading in the background and, and all pow, sorts. And then you're number. halfway down, this freaking thing comes up, and then that takes a second or two to load. Then you finally get the X button, and then you click the X button, and it takes you all the way back to the top of the bloody news story. Yes. Oh, yes. And then you have to read all the way back down again. Does my head in. I have I stopped using particular news sources yeah, because I've of it. You, I was like, oh, on the Guardian. No, not reading that. Um, Vice magazine is doing it. Vice T three used to do it, and it and not T three. All the Name Vice, like Vice, Noisy, all the little things that go the offshoots yeah, of it. Yeah, and they're advertising things like 
like vans and whatever, just their normal ads, but it's just big screen pop ups. And it's, and also, Infuriates I'm not. Infuriates me. The other one that kills me is when they advertise the same thing repeatedly and repeatedly. Oh my repeatedly god. And repeatedly. Yeah, like if you're watching um, Channel 4, 4 OD, mm. right, and you're watching a, maybe a film or a couple of hour long yeah. program, and you watch an ad break and you've got Starbursts and then Audi. And it's the same right? six adverts. And then repeated you go to the next ad break. Over. And it's Starburst and Audi. And you're like, yeah. I've just seen them. I know. Be more intelligent. And it's know that you've shown me those and show me something and different. Also it makes you resent advertising because... Which you shouldn't do, really. Yeah, because if advertising is targeted well and it's for products you actually want, it can help us. It's great. It helps it us pick the right us. product. Yeah, exactly. exactly. It does. But while it gets used about... All, it's all to do with these logarithms and it's all the other... The dark side of it is... Things like Facebook just chewing through your pay per click money, just chucking it out to anybody um, as fast as possible. Word of the day, by the way. Which one? A logarithm. Okay, a logarithm. <laughs> um, or algorithm. Algorithm. A logarithm. Algorithm. I don't know which it I'm is. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, it chews through your money. So you up, you say, okay, I want to spend seven pound fifty on this advertising campaign. Yeah. And it just chucks it to anybody who are, who isn't interested and chucks it yeah. on the same feed four times. You scroll past it four times, it's not interested. Yeah. Choose through your money. Nobody gets a good return on their investment. I started on Facebook because I had so much trash. I started saying, I don't like this advert. I've tried this and it makes no difference. Do you not think? I see it made a difference. I thought it made a difference. I'm still getting adverts for that God of War and those, like the iPhone yeah. games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How big a how that they says have something such about but the but world, they but they have they have those kind of games have cinema adverts yeah I know and TV adverts and TV, like, like um uh, Clash of Clans yes they had Christoph Waltz yeah and James Corden they do an ad A-listers. advertising campaign A listers Christoph Waltz yeah and I c- mental it says and that's all microtransactions isn't it I mean it, it was a great advert but you know. That's when little Johnny gets hold of his dad's iPhone and absolutely rinses the Clash of Clans. Yeah, yeah. And then he's more diamonds. To, or and whatever then he's moaning to Apple next week that he hasn't had to put his fingerprint in. <laughs> little Johnny's run up seventeen hundred and fifty quid on Clash of Clans. <laughs> Wasn't there like a a thing? Didn't that happen a while ago that somebody spent sort of like four grand or something? Some yeah, I can't remember. What and he the went and, was. and Apple. Was it maybe maybe Apple? I don't know who. Because, Someone took um, them to court. Yeah. Um, and she won the case in the end to say that, yeah, okay, we'll write it off in this instance. It wasn't Candy Crush, but it was um, it was a very child-centric game as well. It was something like that. And, it, and, and everyone sort of got a bit tetchy after that, and so it had to be clear, and it had to the guidelines had to say it and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, and I mean, at the end this of the day... This app contains in-app purchases. It's, it's, you shouldn't... If you're, do, if you're making an advert for kids, if you're making a, a, an app, a child's game... Okay, I'm yeah. not saying that... Classic Clans is childish. I mean, you you look over someone's shoulder on the tube and every other person is playing one of those games, which is how they have so much money. They're a great time killer. Yeah, they are. And it's not a childish thing, but there are some games that are obviously more aimed at children. Those ones... My fluffy bunny. Yes. Those ones do not need to be aimed at the micro-purchases, small transactions. No, uh, they should. it should be really difficult to make micro-transactions micro, uh, micro in those. But that's the, way, that's the way the world, that's the way we've gone. That is the way we've gone. There's whole games. What they released? Um, oh, what's it? Forza, the the Xbox car game. Yeah. On PC, for free. It's so it's a, it's free to download on PC and play. Where obviously it's like forty quid on Xbox, and everything is pay is a small transaction. So mm. you can buy every car, but each car like is like a pound fifty nine p. Yeah. So you can pick and choose what you want, but it's spirals it absolutely spirals well of course it does yeah but if you do it over a period of time then it doesn't really matter does I, it the thing is i don't think people do it over a period of time i think they go wham bam i don't think i've i've never spent real money on a game or like a, like an uh, like an I app have you on know. xbox and stuff. Yeah, I, never, no, I mean i mean like like an app game i don't mean like a no. i've never spent actual real money buying extra turns on no i, do, I would on. never do that no but i don't really play games that much the on only my uh, the one the one i used to play that i got absolutely totally into was this like stupid motocross game oh i remember that mad skills motocross or whatever i remember that i became like you were amazing at it you were like third in the country and like well, yeah, third in the world or something Mitchell, once again friend of the pod we used to duel it every week it was nip and tuck on who's but we were like you were amazing i remember watching you play and think this piece of piss what's he going <laughs> on about this is easy we were download the-, the game try and play no uninstall couldn't do it we were like uk level top tens the thing is with that, it's cool. Yeah, you're good at something. 
literally no point in it. You can't, you can't, earn, you can't no one do cares. anything with it. And I used to spend there for hours. I probably almost, hours. I probably almost caused myself damage sitting on the toilet for so long playing that game. <laughs> I've been there. I used, I played I, game. I, I think I played game of I'd it was game of war. I played game of war for a while. I sit there on the toilet for so long. I've got flipping hemorrhoids, borderline prolapse because <laughs> I've been playing flipping iPhone games. <gasps> that must be uncomfortable. On throwback to prolapse today, I was booking my travel insurance. Yeah. You're going through the medical screening, and this lady uh-huh. comes over, deadpan, cool as a cucumber. Um, Angus, have you ever had a prolapse? I nearly, sh- I snorted. What? Uh, that was the sh- question. Genuinely, have you ever had an anal prolapse? Yes. That was one of the lines. Why of does she need to know that? I don't know. And also, I then it started to make me think. Does does she think that Barcelona has an increased race r- risk of uh, anal prolapse? Uh, people people having anal prolapses. Am I going to have a prolapse in Barcelona? <laughs> I really, really hope not. <laughs> I, honestly, oh my god! I hope more than anything that I don't have a prolapse. That is in Barcelona. the strangest, strangest insurance question and I think I've them, ever heard. A lot of, of them were like obvious medical questions. I have a medical history. You have to make sure you get all these things right, otherwise your insurance is nil or void, and you're going to get caught high and dry. Like, yeah. in the last case, nothing's going to go wrong anyway, but you need to make sure that everything is, your ducks are in a line. So, and you, yes, you've got to answer all the questions. If you've, if you've, ep- I'm going to talk to Periscope and the thing. If you've ever had a ridiculous question asked to you, either for insurance or in some kind of application, and it's a stupid question like that, tweet us. Or comment in Paris on Periscope. Yeah, drop us a and tweet. Tell us. At start of a ten pod. We would love to know, and we'll feature you in the next episode. I I genuinely think that that, that it takes the biscuit. I've had you you know you answer that. I did I do car insurance this week as well, and that's oh, another I hate car insurance. I hate car insurance. <coughs> Absolutely hate it. Wading into the minefield. Absolute but nightmare. Um, you, you know you get the the old what, how big's your shoe size? It literally goes down to asking yeah. you all sorts. Yeah, of yeah, yeah. This was by far the most intrusive question I've ever had. Asked on a medical screening. I've never, never had anything like that. You probably never had to go through medical screening over the phone, though. No, I'm one of the, I'm one of those people where, when you're on the phone to someone on insurance and they say, "Okay then, uh, Mr. Bennett, have you ever?" No. Okay then, oh, Mr. So Bennett. Just no. So, um, have you ever? No. Okay. Do Do you need? No. Okay then. Would you like? No. Okay then, Mr. Bennett. That's all set up. <laughs> it did. All said and done, though. My insurance cost twenty two quid. My health insurance, my travel insurance, and I that's had really paid good. Eight pound for a thousand pound gadget cover. That's a good idea if you're taking your camera. Who was that? One I take my phone. Oh, the last thing you is. want is you getting your phone pinched and chewing. See, I'm I'm contract. lucky. I get free. I get free uh, insurance with my um, with my bank. Who was it? Oh, because I can say if you got you run out of your contract. Our friend, my friend James, he he had a, an old phone. He struggled through, waiting to the upgrade date. All good. Comes the upgrade date, gets his brand new iPhone six. Please, oh much. no, don't. Week, I'm I'm gonna say week don't. one, day maybe even before day seven. No, before day seven, it got slammed in the boot lid of a car, and I think by the sound by the this no. state of the phone, it wasn't the cracked screen. It like d- it destroyed the phone. I think they managed to actually close the boot with the phone still in the in the lid. Like. Oh. And Could he just box it back up and take it back and say, I haven't opened it yet? I don't know. But no, he didn't. And he's he's borrowed. He's he's on a new phone now. But oh, it's heartbreak. I, f- I felt genuinely heartbroken for him. And it was annoying know, he disappeared from the group chat again. I know, I know someone that slammed a phone in a car door. Who was that? A girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Newman oh, Shoom. <laughs> I've, slammed, I've slammed fingers in there. My uh, dad's, my sister the slammed my dad's finger yeah, in Yeah, I was fixed. Uh, dad was had his head under the bonnet. And he was fixing the car, you know, like however you do, and he had his, and his hand leaning over, holding onto the. And you shut the and door. Shut the, he's like, it's, it's yeah. Well, I remember Dad. It, it was basically an A and E job, but being a typical dad, he was like, "Nah, be all right. Just rinse it under the cold tap." <laughs> it's like that's <laughs> the blagy, the blagy it's, blue. It's uh, clear. <laughs> <laughs> it's clearly an A and E job where half his fingers are hanging off like this, you and there's blood everywhere. Blue paper towel from yeah. the from the from the woman in school. Blue paper towel, ice pack, job done. No problems. Oh, he just he just needed a blue magic blue blue sponge. <laughs> <laughs> to repair his shattered <laughs> fingers. Oh, brilliant. Oh, man. Oh. That was quite a cool journey. Right. It was a bit... We, we, we stuttered at the start because we, we needed to cover... We needed to cover some um, EU EU news. 
relevant EU news. And then Queen news. Queenie. Queen outfit news. Yep, Queenie Stabilo boss. We, and then we talked about pooey, un- pooey undercrackers. Pooey undercrackers all the way a through to... The guy who got away with a poo and run, which is uh, sensational. And then we ended all up... All the way through to slamming your fingers in a car door. Via obscure medical screenings and <laughs> hopefully not prolapsing in Barcelona. <laughs> that is how we do it. Right. That is how we do it. If you want to get in touch with us... Please do. Please do. At please start tweet of the us. Ten people, people are tweeting in. It's cool. We like it's it great. We love it. We love chatting to our followers. We do, yeah. And yeah, lots of followers. Follow on Facebook as well, at Starter for 10. Yep. Uh, you know where to find the pod on yep. iTunes. If you're feeling and super Periscope kind... Now. If you're feeling super kind, uh, leave an, uh, a, rate, a star rating and about six letters in a positive review. Just write good and good because the way the word of the day... A logarithm works. A logarithm. We get really like a massive boost from that, um, and that helps us push us up the charts. And then we don't have to we have to advertise less, and more people talk about this fantastic podcast. Doot, doot, doot. Toot my own horn. Thanks, guys. That's it. Right, catch you again soon. Catch you soon. Nice one. Cheers. Cheers bye. Bye.